Hello beautiful! Today I'm going to be sharing Dollar Tree Mother's Day gift ideas that she will actually want. My name is Zakia and each week I share decor, DIYs, and tips for living your most beautiful life. We're going to start with these Dollar Tree wooden boxes which I think were quite a nice find. Next, we're gonna move on to this decorative shredded paper, which is going to be the filler in our gift box. Now, Dollar Tree had so many nice items that we could put in our gift boxes that are spa-related items and self-care type items. So I had a great time picking these things out and just trying to coordinate the scents and the colors. And there is definitely something for everyone. When I think about spa relaxation, one of the things that comes to mind is the crisp white towels. I found these towels at Dollar Tree and they are the perfect size for our gift boxes. The next thing I found was this burlap ribbon which I thought was very pretty. It had a nice texture and a nice neutral color. Dollar Tree normally carries shrink wrap which is what I wanted to use here but they were out so I went with this clear cello wrap. In order to make our gift box feel very luxurious and very rich, I decided to use more than one box and put together four boxes and make it a little bit more luxurious by having the compartments. I used the original Gorilla Glue, which I brushed on with this foam brush that I got at Dollar Tree also. Then I lightly dampened the other box, the side of the other box that I was gluing together. And then I went ahead and carefully placed those two boxes together to make sure they were all lined up. You do wanna take your time and be careful, make sure that everything is lined up so that your box looks as nice as possible. Once you've glued all the sides together, and what I did was glue two of the boxes together at a time. But once you have everything lined up, just clamp it and let it sit for 24 hours. Once those were set, I went ahead and glued all four of the boxes together and clamped them. Once the box was set, I used a very fine sandpaper and just went over it very lightly. There were just a few like little raw rough edges that I wanted to get rid of again to give our box that really nice, really luxurious high end feel. Next, we're gonna add our paper shreds into each of the compartments. I hope you guys are still with me right now and I hope that you've liked the video. I hope that you've subscribed. If you aren't subscribed, if you already are subscribed, hey girl, hey. <laughs> no, seriously, I really do appreciate all of the subscribers and I appreciate you even if you're not a subscriber and you're here just watching and supporting. And I definitely wanna get the word about my channel out and reach more people. So I would love it if you guys would share and spread the word and I, I just would love to be able to reach more people and share with more people. You know, it's a great time reading you guys' comments and even getting to know some of you guys. And I feel like this is already such a great community. And for all of you who are underneath all of my videos, who leave comments all of the time, I read those comments and I reply to every single comment because it means so much to me that you are here and that you can find inspiration here. Like when I tell you how much it means to me, it means a lot. Okay, I'm getting way too emotional right now, so let me rein it in and get back on track. <laughs> You can see here that I'm adding a little double-sided tape to the back of some of these items just so they stay in place a little bit better. There are so many possibilities with these boxes, but of course this one is my favorite because I love pink. Are you a pink girl? Let me know down in the comment section. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I wrap this up and finish up our gift boxes. 
I basically just wrap these gift boxes the same way I would wrap any present with regular gift wrapping paper, except that instead of scotch tape, I did go ahead and use packing tape just because I thought it would be more durable with this plastic cello wrap. I think this gift box looks so polished and so nice that your recipients may not know that you actually took the time to put it together. So I did create these labels and you can find these on my blog, beautifullivinghome.blogspot.com and I attach these with double-sided tape and you can feel free to write the name of your mom or whoever you're giving your present to and that way they will know that you actually took the time to put all of this together for them. I wanted to show you guys two other options with these gift boxes. You can use just a single box if you want to or you can just put two boxes together if you want. Our next project is gonna be a gardener's gift set in a mug. This mug was so cute and they also had seeds, four packs for $1 and gardening gloves. The seeds were inexpensive, but the packaging wasn't exactly high end. So I designed a custom cover for the seed packets that you can find at beautifullivinghome.blogspot.com. Just click on the link down in the description box. It'll take you to the template. Once you're there, print it out, cut out the template, score all of the dotted lines. I will link a score down in the description box. Once you've done that, fold all of the scored lines. Once that's done, you're gonna use your glue stick and you are gonna glue all of the areas that you see me gluing here. Once you've assembled the envelopes, just go ahead and put your seed packets in there and they are gonna look a whole lot better in this new custom seed packet. To customize our seed packet even more and make it look even nicer, we're gonna use some of those same labels that we used in the first project and I'm just gonna put a little glue on it with the glue stick and just press it onto the seed packet we're gonna get our gardening gloves now and we're just gonna roll them up tightly and very neatly so that they will make a great presentation in our gift. Instead of using the shredded paper in this gift, I thought I would use the Spanish moss for a more organic type of feel and look since this is a gardening related present. Here I'm putting the seed packet and the gloves into the mug. We're gonna use the burlap ribbon and just tie it around the mug handle and just adjust it so that we have a pretty bow. I think this mug turned out very well and I think that any gardener slash coffee lover would love to receive this for Mother's Day. Our next project uses the same mug, only this time we're gonna drill holes in the bottom for drainage. First of all, get your protective eye gear, then you're gonna to wanna to put tape in the bottom inside of the mug so that your bit doesn't slip. You don't really want to put pressure on the drill as you're drilling. You just kind of want to let the drill naturally do its thing to create the hole. And it does take some time. It takes at least a few minutes per hole. What you see there is dust, not smoke, but the bit will get pretty hot and you need to be careful and you may even need to let it cool off every now and then. So I put a small piece of landscape fabric in the bottom of the mug. I sat it on a Dollar Tree saucer and your present is ready to go. Let me know if you use any of these ideas for your mom. Thanks for being here.